Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Pac-10 Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, I want to apologize for how I'm dressed as I'm getting ready to go to work. Um, do want to ask you to please subscribe and please share these on the Facebook page. Um, so much better, and we're jumping up. Remember, at 650 subscribers, we'll do another contest. Today, we're uh, going to tell you a little about, bit about Dub Taylor. And you say, who's Dub Taylor? Well, Dub Taylor was the postmaster, was Mayberry's postmaster, and was also Mayberry's country preacher. Um, here, look at his face. You'll recognize him. There you go. A um, little bit about him. He is the father of Buck Taylor, with whom he appeared in Conacher. He's the grandfather of Adam C. Taylor, Matthew Taylor, and... Cooper Taylor. He is the grandfather-in-law of Ann Lockhart. Once explained that as a boy, uh, he had been called W as a nickname for his first name, Walter. Uh, that was later shortened to just Dub, instead of W, Dub. Uh, his life in, uh, was chronicled in a 2007 in a feature-length documentary, That Guy, The Legacy of Dub Taylor. Older generations will remember him as Ivan Moss in Bonnie and Clyde in 1967. He once played a sidekick to cowboy stars such as Charles Starlet, the Durango Kid, Russell Hayden, Lucky, Don Redberry, uh, the Red Rider, Bill Elliott, and Jim Wakely. Uh, was on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson one night and played the xylophone using three mallets in each hand. That's talent, folks, believe me. He outlived his grandson, Adam C. Taylor, by four months. He appeared in three uh, films written by Robert Zemeck and Bob Gale in 1941. Uh, that was in 79. Used cars in 1980 and Back to the Future Part 3 in 1990. Uh, the latter two films were also directed by Zemex. Zemeckis, or how we pronounce his name. Um, was a regular in the stock company uh, of director uh, Sam, boy, some of these names, Sam Peckinpah, appearing as Priam in Major Dundee in 1965, Wayne's Coat in The Wild Bunch in 69, and Laughlin in The Getaway in 1972, among other films. Was a member of the 1937 Alabama Crimson Tide football team uh, that played in the 1938 Rose Bowl. Uh, he stayed behind to make it in films and secured the role of Ed Carmichael in Frank Capra's film You Can't Take It With You in 1938 uh, because he could play the xylophone. Um, I would list his many television shows and movies, but I'm here to tell you I had to... I had to... Uh, scanned down on the computer like four times. He's been in a lot, a lot of movies and TV shows. A quote from him, uh, I don't care about winning an Oscar. I'm just an actor who can play parts and make people believe them. There you go. That's a true actor. And that's all I got for you today. I appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, and I hope you subscribe. And if you haven't, and I appreciate it that you did. Uh, and I should please share these. Um, you're a great bunch of people. And uh, don't forget the uh, trivia question on the Facebook page. Have a great day. God bless, and I'll be praying for you. Mm -hmm.